Hey everyone, so I'm going to do something slightly different today and well, I'm not going to talk about myself for once. I'm actually going to share someone else's story with you today. So in the past I hadn't really spoken to many other positive people, but over the last few weeks, few months, I've discovered that the HIV community is amazing. It's full of strength, unity, diversity, compassion and understanding. We've all been through a similar experience, we've all had similar emotions, similar feelings and I can say that it's an absolute privilege to be part of this community. And having a sense of belonging to a community is really important and it can really work to improve mental health. I can personally attest to this as becoming a part of this community has done wonders for my own mental health. Since starting to talk publicly, I've had a lot of people reach out and share their own experiences of being diagnosed and living with HIV. One particular person spoke to me a few weeks ago and we've been talking on and off ever since. His story really touched me and he spoke about his sexuality, his HIV status and his desire to live a free and open life. He really wants to be able to share his story with you and talk about his struggles but he just doesn't feel comfortable enough to do so for fear of being found out by people in his own country. With his consent, I'd like to share his story with you today. This is the story of a 26-year-old Ghanaian man who was diagnosed with HIV a little over two years ago. He's asked to remain anonymous for fear of rejection, persecution or worse. He tells me that growing up in a country like Ghana is challenging Although there's been some advancement in the country and a slight change in the mindset of the people, there is still a lot of work to do around the stigma associated with and the understanding of HIV and likewise the acceptance of being gay. When he received his HIV diagnosis, it felt like his world was coming to an end and he found himself considering suicide. He was depressed, traumatised by the news and ended up dropping out of university, making up an excuse to his family um, as to why. He wasn't able to focus on his work and he was thinking that he was going to die soon. He had no one to turn to for help, for support or to talk to, apart from his doctor who told him that he'd be taking medication for the rest of his life. He tells me that um, HIV medication is free in Ghana, fortunately. He hasn't told anyone about being HIV positive because of the stigma in his country. He hides his medication from his family and has to take pills in secret. He just can't risk anyone finding out. Struggling with anxiety and depression, he finds himself left to cry alone without anyone knowing his story. He feels that if he tells his family they want to support him and he worries that they may even throw him out of the house because he has two secrets being gay and being HIV positive, neither of which are accepted in Ghana. But he finds the strength to get through life, to continue on his meds. He keeps going with the knowledge and understanding that no one knows his story. He feels it's really important to know himself and he knows that he needs a support group and mentors outside of his current life and current situation. Eventually he plans to go back to uni and he'd like to go to stand up for the rights of those in the LGBTQ community in Ghana. He has desires to become a public speaker and an advocate for HIV and LGBTQ rights and he wants to fight so that people don't have to face the same struggles that he's had to endure. I'd like to ask that if anyone knows of any organisations or charities in Ghana um, or anywhere else that can provide support and help and advice. I'd really like you to reach out to me um, and let me know the details so that I can pass these on to him.